everyone. Welcome to another Random Talk Sunday. I'm sorry this video is being uploaded late. I've been relatively busy over this Labor Day weekend, but now I have time to be caught up. So without further ado, let me address what I wanted to talk about for this Random Talk Sunday. And that is something less obvious than you might expect. Um, I'm not going to be addressing Labor Day. That's a completely different topic that'll be probably safe for another video with in the future. But uh, I am going to talk about something that is a little bit more broader and uh, I think probably might have some implications actually uh, with Labor Day. Um, and that is the whole concept of freedom. Now, people have defined freedom throughout the ages and have obviously come up with tons of different ideas and have fostered various different philosophies as to what freedom is and what it means and yada yada yada. Um, and uh, I, although freedom, I think, is a great and wonderful thing, and I think the more freedom we have, that's great, but I just think that the whole concept of true and complete freedom, like the, the idea that you can just go out and do whatever you want, you know, there's no limitations onto you, you know, that you cannot... Um, you, that you can just completely have whatever you want out of life um, based on the fact that you have freedom, I think is kind of a misconception um, that I think uh, oftentimes can be had when talking about the whole notion of it. Um, because I think ultimately what we need to realize is we, we rely on others uh, in order to survive. Um, and so I think this whole idea of complete independence, complete, you know, uh, you know, complete, uh, I guess, autonomy, you could say, is just something that I don't think really exists, and I and I don't think has a lot of basis within rationale. Um, and I think really what it all boils down to is, is, is again, like I've said before, is, is the rely, we rely on other people in order to survive and rely on things in order to survive. You know, um, you know, you can't just snap your fingers and suddenly you get water. You know, you have to go out to the store and buy some water. You know, it's, it's, it's not like freedom things come from the sky and you can just have whatever you want and, um, you know, you can just do whatever you want, you know, it's, you know, it, it, there's just no basis of that, that I think exists within reality. Um, and I think that is the fact that we are reliant. Um, and uh, I'll give you some examples. Um, it's, it's funny. It's funny how people say, oh, I'm independent because I have a job. Um, but the thing is, is, you know, when you really look at a job, um, you're dependent on your supervisor. You're dependent on, um, the salary that he ultimately decides to give you. Um, you are, yes, you're maybe independent in how you choose to spend the money that he ultimately provides you in exchange for your labor. But at the end of the day, you know, you're not completely self-reliant. Like, you can't, you know, you, you, you ultimately have to put your faith into that supervisor and knowing that he will ultimately provide you with, you know, a salary, a raise, benefits, etc., etc. So you can ultimately survive and have freedom uh, to purchase things, to um, have maybe ultimately a house. Um, and it's not the same if you own your, own your own business either. If you own your own business, you're relying on your customers. You're relying on the people who come to ultimately give you money and give you support. Um, so you're not completely free um, just because, you know, you have your own business. Yeah, you maybe have a little bit more autonomy than an employee because you can make decisions and yada yada. But your decisions ultimately have an impact as whether or not your idea slash business succeeds or whether or not it fails. 
And that's not dependent on you. It's dependent on the customers. It's dependent on whether or not the people buy into what you are selling them. So really, I think this this whole idea of, yeah, you're, you're just free. You know, you're free to, you know, to you're free to succeed. Um, and, you know, it's 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 just not really reality. I mean, it's it's just an illusion because at the end of the day, it's all dependent upon these other factors um, that ultimately result in whether or not something is successful or not. It isn't. I mean, it really is dependent on other people um, and we rely on other people so that we can survive. And now you might be saying, well, what if you live in the woods? Well, if you live in the woods, you have to rely on the weather, largely, if I mean, if you if it's raining constantly or you have extreme weather, the chances of you being able to maybe survive are reduced because you don't have the free you don't have the luxury of being able to live maybe as freely as you would if you were able to have maybe some form of medication or you know not be in such a very harsh and desolate environment the point where you wouldn't get sick and it's sort of the same with you know dependent on you know your surroundings like if you don't have access to water your ability to survive and have the freedom to you know get water is uh severely reduced you know uh so so i think we try to kind of create this illusion that we have somehow this this we, that we have this ultimate freedom and we can we can really shape and decide our destiny and the thing is is we're reliant on other things we're reliant on what's available to us we're reliant on the choices we make we're we're we don't have this grandiose illusion of freedom um we have choices, I think, is really the, the, the main point to get across. Um, I guess you could argue the idea that if we have more choices, we therefore have more freedom to access those choices and whatnot. Um, but I find it hilarious when people somehow say that, you know, and I think some people use it as kind of like a means to be like, haha, I'm so much better than you because I am... I am independent because I make my money and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, and uh, who, who's giving you that money? <laughs> who, who, who's providing you that money so you can uh, have, a, have a business? Who's providing you that money so that you can go to work every day? Um, you know, I mean, I just think that we don't realize it. We, we, we live in this very self, I think, absorbed way of thinking when it comes to freedom that we don't understand that oftentimes this this kind of idea of, of freedom and being able to just do whatever you want and go and pursue any visual dream that you have is just it's it's not practical it's, it's it just doesn't make any sense i mean you know there there there's there's the dream freedom and then there's choices freedom which is really the reality of what freedom is um you know I, I think at the end of the day we have to kind of realize that ultimately we're the way things work is is we're, we're boiled down to choices where we have um we can make decisions that's the only thing that we can do and ultimately they may not produce the outcome that we want or the, the ultimate, or the more freedom that we want. Um, so I think the, you know, again, it's it's really all based within, um, within choices. And uh, I think there's no absolutes in anything. You know, there's, there's no 100% guarantee of anything. And uh, people who tell you the 100% guarantee, whatever, you know, it's, you know, there's no absolute yes i'm going to you know do this and i'm going to make x uh without realizing that there is obviously some 
limitations in going to doing that. Um, and I think the idea is, is just to think practically, you know. I mean, we can obviously dream and have grandiose ideas of, of, oh, if I had the freedom to do this and if I had the right to do that. And, you know, we can obviously think of it in those sense, in that sense. But I think the only thing that we can be really surely guaranteed in life is, made, is ultimately based upon choices, if we have choices. And that's really the only thing that's really uh, supposed, supposedly really guaranteed into a in sort of a free, you know, westernized society. It's 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 whether or not people have options. You know, that's that's really all it it it's based on. Um, and uh, you know, we're kind of all out there to survive, so we can have freedom. Uh, that's sort of the whole, uh, I think, idea and how people sort of envision freedom. Like, oh, I am free to do this. But obviously there is going to be some sacrifices and some things that I'm, that I'm not going to be able to freely do. Uh, and I think that's really what we need to kind of, I think what people might miss sometimes is, is that really, and honestly, based on my opinion, I feel like that you know, there is a dependency. We we rely on other people to survive just in the same way that, um, you know, uh, animals rely on food and water. You know, it, we almost, we, we sort of need each other, you know, in a way. And we, we work things through, um, through providing each other things. And we use money as a form of exchange for that. And uh, I think really in the large scheme of things, um, that's really ultimately the the closest uh, thing to freedom that you can really have is, is just to have a free society of people just kind of, you know, uh, making the world a better place. That's, I think, really what's what ultimately everything boils down to. Um, and it's really just, again, it's, it's all choice. It's all, it, it's nothing to do with, um, whether or not, um, ultimately there is a, uh, good or bad idea behind certain things and the, and sort of the freedom we envision. It's just really, it's all based on, on choices. It's based on, um, you know, other people and the amount of freedom maybe they have because there might be some that have maybe more freedom than other people do um they may there's some people might have more options than other people you know it, it really is a it really is a, a strange strange way of i guess thinking about it but largely um i just think we just need to understand that the whole idea of Yes, there's human intuition. Yes, there's human effort. Yes, we have to acknowledge people's abilities to do X, Y, and Z. But I think when we really look at the when we really look at the absolute idea of yeah, we can do this, you know, no limitations, no, uh, you know, I just I want that freedom, so therefore I get that freedom is just kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of like the saying goes, you know, uh, freedom isn't free, you know, so to speak. Um, it's, and it's, you know, it's dependent. It's dependent on a variety of factors and, uh, and on the variety of choices you have. So I think that's really what uh, I think people miss oftentimes. They, they think freedom is this grandiose thing, which it is, but they don't understand and realize that they're, are obviously certain limitations within life and it's good to know though that um, you know again it really is ba the only thing that people can really guarantee more of is choices for people so that's why they're so that's why I think at least within most Western societies if it feels like you have more you have more uh, ability to exercise um, your freedoms uh, than obviously other countries do. But at the end of the day, if the, those freedoms are just based on choice. They're not based on absolutes. Um, 
So I think that's really ultimately uh, my thoughts when it comes to the whole concept. I mean, I think there's a lot of things, you know, it would be nice to be able to do things, you know, just go out and do it and just do whatever you want. But uh, sometimes, sometimes, again, it's, it's never, it's never free and it's never guaranteed. It's just you have, you have the possibility of doing it. Um, so I think that's really what it all boils down to. And I think that's really the only thing that can be really ultimately guaranteed is choices. Um, and obviously the limitations and the, uh, and the certain choices that we ultimately make, um, which sometimes, you know, even them themselves, we don't sometimes even know like what free ideas we should explore, you know? So it's, it's really all, it's all kind of a, a big, I guess you could say jumble mess, uh, cause, cause that's sort of how, I guess you could say freedom works because there, there's so much variety into what people would do if they were free. Um, so I, I think really it's, it, it is a, it is a great concept, but I think we should, um, we should maximize choices and we should maximize the ability for us to do things. But, um, but at the same time, we have to realize there's no absolutes and there's no 100% guarantees and there's no, um, you know, there's just no cert there's just no certainty, uh, to freedom, really only choices at least. Um, at least that's how, how I see it. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. That's, that's all I think I can address when it comes to this topic. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.